Hi, I'm Brian Modoff. I'm the Executive Vice President and Chief Strategy Officer of Qualcomm. I also run their Ventures team. I hope you're all staying safe during these unprecedented times. I'm pleased to have the opportunity to talk about 5G and its significant impact, including on healthcare, at a time where staying connected is as important as it ever has been. Qualcomm has been driving the emergence of an intelligent, hyper-connected world. We focused on system-level innovations that transform how the world connects, computes, and communicates. Over the last three decades, we've been interconnecting people. As we move into the 5G age, we see an even larger opportunity to spend the next 30 years interconnecting their things. This transition will have an immense impact, enriching our lives at work and at home, and benefiting the global economy. With 5G for the first time, wireless becomes a superior network technology, and this has a significant impact on the markets we serve, both existing and emerging. We're now firmly in the age of wireless. The current pandemic has made it clear how central wireless technology is to our future. The technology that has transformed our most essential device, the smartphone, is now impacting everything. Every wireless generational transition served a purpose. 2G was digital voice, 3G early mobile internet, 4G mobile broadband and the smartphone. And now with 5G, cellular is poised to move into virtually every industry. It was designed from the beginning to be a massively scalable system designed to meet diverse requirements using the same platform. And the impact will be dramatic. In 2035, 5G will enable 13.2 trillion in global economic activity and support over 22 million jobs. It's important to understand that 5G is far more than a standard handset upgrade opportunity. Significant improvements in capacity and efficiency that meaningfully lower the cost to deploy and operate the system for operators. Improvements in throughput and latency bring the cloud closer to users, essentially enabling the cloud edge architecture. This will unlock a wave of new services and new experiences and even more powerful improvements in connection density and ultra high reliability will make cellular the primary connection solution for many industries. And mission critical services and support for the massive IoT will drive a new wave of innovation. And 5G is a reality today, with commercialization moving much faster than we saw with 4G. There are over 60 operators that have already deployed 5G, with well over 300 more investing in future deployments. Based on our internal projections, over 750 million 5G smartphones will ship in 2022. And just a year later, it is expected that there will be over a billion 5G connections coming two years faster than 4G. And by 2025, 5G connections will reach nearly 3 billion globally. This is a massive shift in the capabilities of cellular and it will have a significant impact on the world. 5G will fuel a new era of innovation that touches virtually every industry. It will enable virtually every part of the global economy from manufacturing to transportation to agriculture and energy. It will impact the entire supply chain from resources to retail and make our city smarter, safer, and more efficient. And we expect it to have a significant impact on healthcare. This is critical because according to the World Bank, health expenditures are almost 10% of global GDP, 17% in the US. The future of healthcare will be driven by technology. Electronic health records and exchanges have helped the system become more connected. However, there's still much work to do with integrated systems to help drive accuracy and reliability of health data. Health providers are actively exploring virtual care, many using telehealth technology to empower doctors to care for their patients from afar. And this future is always connected, data rich, edge cloud enabled, private and secure, and access will follow you wherever you go. The goal is uh, to expand access, improve outcomes, and lower costs. With the pandemic, we've seen the importance of virtual telepresence for telemedicine. Analysts have projected 1 billion telehealth visits in 2020 alone, raising significant challenges for doctors and their patients. Examples of these activities include imaging in the field, virtual diagnosis, and remote monitoring. Activities like imaging require greater capacity, and remote monitoring will drive growing demand for reliable connections. 
5G will meet that need and transform telemedicine. Let's talk about this in the context of how a patient may experience the healthcare system. Imagine a first responder on the scene of an accident. First responders use 5G to send vitals and HD video of the accident victim to hospital emergency physicians in real time. The high speed, low latency, high capacity and reliability of 5G networks offers opportunities to enhance capabilities in the field. For example, in South Korea, first responders are using 360 degree cameras connected over 5G networks to stream data in real time. This information can be sent to the doctors on a review panel in different locations to ensure the right treatment is being administered and patients are sent to, a, to the correct hospital that can provide a level of care needed based on the patient's condition. Once at a hospital, 5G connectivity will allow greater access to specialists. 5G opens up the potential for remote monitoring and remote procedures. It enables the monitoring of critical cases on the go throughout the facility. In ICU, doctors can more richly engage with remote specialists, sharing real-time data, vitals, and images while on a video call. The use of private 5G networks and local edge cloud will provide greater security and privacy with sensitive patient data. And it will enable spaces to be quickly converted for critical care in the face of a large influx of patients as we've seen with this pandemic. And after discharge with 5G, care will continue its evolution to make the home an integrated healthcare setting. The home continues to be one of the fastest growing healthcare settings due, for example, to earlier hospital discharges and chronic care management. With significant costs for patient readmission, it's essential that the home support ongoing patient monitoring for recovery protocols. With 5G, patients can securely share HD video for, of trauma areas, continuous vitals, and other sensors and imaging data in real time. Handheld kits, like from Qualcomm Venture Investment Back TitoCare, will allow you to perform guided medical exams and monitor chronic conditions with healthcare providers anytime and anywhere. When we look at the state of technology, we see the clear need for more resilient healthcare. It seems obvious that digital transformation will come to this significant part of our economy. The global pandemic has focused attention on the need for access and cost control while also improving patient outcomes. The status quo is no longer enough. This will jeopardize patient outcomes for at-risk populations and impact health system profitability. Technology leaders like Qualcomm will be working with leaders in medical devices, clinical data management, and remote care to improve the future of healthcare and the future of healthcare patients. Qualcomm is actively engaged in, in the core research and development of solutions that will support healthcare innovation. We have foundational innovations in 5G and artificial intelligence. We've developed connectivity products that scale based on system demand needs. We enable solutions for wearables and extended reality devices. The Apple Watch, for example, uses our technology. We have on-device and edge computing solutions to distribute intelligence, allowing for secure and private data management. And we offer core infrastructure that will support future healthcare and network facility demands. Finally, an area that I find very fascinating and really enjoy as part of my work at Qualcomm is our venture investment portfolio. As part of our venture investment efforts, we are actively involved in investing in healthcare innovation. Our venture investments cross many key areas most of which will accelerate with 5G. For example, we have invested in high quality secure telepresence with Doctor On Demand, in high speed securely connected cloud based lab testing platforms at scale with HiTech, who is currently scaling COVID 19 testing, in wearable sensors for continuous data capture for meaningful diagnostic telehealth visits and treatment at home with Kala Health medical grade EKG testing at home, including QT level for COVID-19 with LiveCore, and as I previously mentioned, near real-time data-rich at-home medical exams with TitoCare. Qualcomm is providing the technologies that are leading the world of 5G. Our long-term R&D investments have delivered 5G inventions. Qualcomm remains focused on helping to provide superior security-rich 5G connectivity to the future of healthcare. And beyond healthcare, we see that powerful, secure wireless connectivity is essential to the global economy. We see important opportunities to work with the global health ecosystem to deliver technologies and solutions to create more resilient healthcare system in the US and around the world. 
We thank you for listening.